Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Berry Box Dynamics from My Favorite Things. This is a two-piece Dynamics which will both cut and emboss. When you take a close look at the die, you'll see all these little bumps, which will actually deboss the seed pattern. This is the topper, which will both cut and emboss a fun little decorative top for the top of your berry box. Now let's get it all put together. I've cut the berry box from red cardstock and the topper from a piece of green pattern paper. Now I'll quickly fold along all the pre-scored lines and burnish with my bone folder just to form a nice crisp edge. Personally, I like to enhance the sides with a little bit of Distress Ink. Apply the strong adhesive of your choice and close up the box. Burnishing the edges by rubbing them gently will assure that the adhesive is firmly in place. I like to mold the top of the box around the tip of my finger just to make the cardstock a little more pliable. And now I'll add two berry shaped small candies before I close up the box. I'm using a length of divine twine which I have thread through an embroidery needle and tied a knot at the end. Starting from the inside of the box I will go through the first loop leaving the tail of the thread inside. I will use my fingers to mold down each of the petals and continue to zip right through each of the holes so that the candies are firmly tied inside and the box is closed. Now quickly I'm going to reach for the box topper which I've noticed I hadn't inked with Distress Ink. So I'm going to give that a quick dash of Distress Ink then I'm going to stick the needle and thread straight through the center tie off a little bow and just trim off the ends. And now the box is complete. I think I'll create just a few more paper berries filled with candy to stick inside this fun berry box I found at the store. Thanks so much for visiting today. Please join us at mftstamps.com.